Another question I get asked a lot is like, why is production so important for you? And we're talking obviously about the production of the music. Um, this has a, has a lot to do with my past. Um, I started um, as a junior engineer when I was 14, 15 in a local studio um, doing stuff. And um, for me, sound has always been important. I, as a kid, I loved listening to records that were really well produced. Um, and I could tell the difference when you would hear just a guitar band or you would hear a guitar band with some extra samples or they did something unique to make the drum sound amazing or the guitar sound amazing. Um, and that has developed over the years to a point where I mix everything myself right now. Um, and um, I have um, so much joy in adding production uh, to every piece of music that I make. So once I'm happy with the music and a director signs off on it and the studio likes it, um, then I'm really gonna go in production mode and I'm just like, where can I make this better? How can I make this better? And I check certain sounds and in other tutorials of studio time, you see how phonetic I can be with like certain synthesizers where this synthesizer has this specific sound that I really want to use and this since a sampler does this, I really want to use, or I spent hours on a modular synth behind me to create that one specific sound that I want. Uh, the same goes for sound design. Usually the orchestral recordings that I make, I treat them uh, with sound design programs and then add layers of them to the original recording or replace them altogether. So I spent a really lot of time on there and I feel this has become um, an extra side of my uh, composing career. It gives me a style, it gives me an edge, it gives me um, um, a sound to the overall score. I think my scores in general are, when they're soft, they're more ambient and more experimental, and when they're hard, they're like pretty much as hard as you can get. Um, and I like that. I know people don't like that. <laughs> and, and I see that a lot on my Facebook feed or my Twitter feed where people are like, the score of Junkie Excel is just stupid noise. And it's like, I, I, I love reading those comments because that's exactly what it needs to be. And, but it needs to be noise with design. It needs to be noise with rhythm. It needs to be what it is. And that, that's exactly what I did with Mad Max and with uh, 300 and with Hans, with uh, 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 Batman versus Superman. When it needs to be loud, well, just throw a German and a Dutch guy in one room and it will be loud and it will be brutal. Um, so um, it, it's, it, it becomes a style like how you approach things. For the softer scores, I always try to combine soft strings with like interesting sound design, treat the strings in a subtle way. So there is always that edge to the strings that makes them different or the brass or the woodwinds. Um, so yes, production is very important to me. It adds an extra layer to it and um, it makes it easier for me to define who I am as a, as a composer. If I were to write a piece of music just for piano with nothing else, I find it very hard to distance myself as a composer from other composers because a piano is a piano and um, there are a lot of really great uh, piano writers and piano composers in the past that harmonically and melodically were able to set themselves apart so uniquely, but I don't see myself in that field. So for me, uh, sound design, production, extra layering of sounds to what I'm, what I'm writing is giving me the depth that sets me apart from uh, potential other composers. So that's why production is really important to me.